What if I told you that scientists have just built the most powerful magnet ever created? One so strong that it could literally lift an aircraft carrier straight out of the ocean? It is so powerful as it can generate a magnetic field of 13 Tesla that's over 280,000 times stronger than Earth's magnetic field. A magnet so immense that it can store 6.4 gigajoules of energy, which is about the same as a fully loaded Boeing 747 at takeoff. And it doesn't just sit there, it will unleash this power inside a fusion reactor, driving a pulsed current of 15 million amperes through plasma and holding it steady for up to 500 seconds. Sounds like something out of science fiction, right? But it's not. It's real. It works. And it's going to be the beating heart of the most ambitious energy experiment in human history. For over half a century, fusion power has been called the holy grail of clean energy, a way to generate virtually limitless electricity by replicating the same reaction that powers the sun. And now, one of the biggest roadblocks to making that dream a reality has just been solved by a team of engineers in California. They've completed the central solenoid, the world's largest pulsed superconducting magnet. It stands nearly 60 feet tall, weighs over 1,000 tons, and will soon power up ITER, a massive fusion experiment being built in France. This breakthrough isn't just about energy. It could reshape entire industries, create new technologies, and even change which nations lead the world in science and innovation. And the most surprising part, hardly anyone outside the fusion community is talking about it. In this video, We'll break down how this magnet works, why it matters, and what it means for the future of fusion energy. Stick around, because what you're about to see could be the beginning of a new era for humanity. And before we dive in, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. If you want more deep dives into the technology shaping our future, fusion isn't like other energy sources. It doesn't burn fossil fuels and it doesn't create dangerous, long-lived radioactive waste like nuclear fission. Instead, it uses hydrogen isotopes, some of the most abundant materials on Earth, to produce enormous amounts of power. If we can make fusion work, it would mean virtually unlimited clean energy, the kind of breakthrough that could end the energy crisis for good. The challenge is enormous. To make fusion happen, we need to heat plasma to more than 150 million degrees Celsius, hotter than the core of the sun, and hold it there long enough to extract useful energy. That's where ITER comes in. ITER is the largest scientific collaboration in human history. 35 nations are working together to build the world's biggest tokamak, a donut-shaped machine designed to trap plasma with powerful magnetic fields. Its mission is simple but profound. Prove that fusion can work not just in theory, but in practice. And at the very heart of ITER is the central solenoid, often called the beating heart of the machine. Think of it as the core electromagnet that drives electric current into the plasma, controlling and stabilizing it so fusion reactions can take place. Without it, ITER wouldn't function. Now here's the incredible part. This solenoid is unlike anything humans have ever built. It's nearly 60 feet tall, the height of a six-story building, and more than 14 feet wide. It weighs over 1,000 tons, and it's strong enough to generate magnetic forces powerful enough to lift an aircraft carrier off the ground. It's built from six massive modules, each weighing over 270,000 pounds, Every single one took more than two years to construct and test before being shipped across the world from California to France. Once stacked together, they form the single most powerful pulsed superconducting magnet ever created. The central solenoid isn't just massive in size. Its performance numbers are staggering. Once fully powered, it will store around 6.4 gigajoules of magnetic energy about the same as the kinetic energy of a jumbo jet at takeoff. It can generate magnetic fields of 13 Tesla, more than 280,000 times stronger 
than Earth's natural magnetic field positioned right along the central axis of the Eider tokamak, this magnet will drive a pulsed current of 15 million amperes through the plasma that's nearly 10 times the current in a lightning strike. And it won't just do it for an instant. It can sustain that current for 5 to 8 minutes at a time, which is exactly what ITR needs to demonstrate sustained fusion reactions. So how did this happen? The credit goes to General Atomics, a company based in San Diego. For 15 years, engineers there worked at a special magnet technology center in Poway, pushing the boundaries of material science, superconducting wires, and advanced manufacturing. This wasn't just another engineering project. It required inventing entirely new tools and processes, coordinating a global supply chain, and solving problems that nobody had ever faced before. By doing so, General Atomics not only delivered a key piece of ITER, but also turned Southern California into a global hub for fusion research and technology. As Dr. Wayne Solomon of GA put it, this is a watershed moment for the United States, proof that private industry can take on challenges at a scale once reserved only for governments. But why should you care about a giant magnet being shipped to France? Because this isn't just a scientific achievement, it's a glimpse into a possible future. If ITER succeeds, fusion won't just give us abundant energy, it will revolutionize industries across the board. Artificial intelligence systems could run on endless clean power, manufacturing could become cleaner and more efficient. Transportation systems, from electric cars to high-speed rail, could run on grids powered by fusion, and then, there's the economic side. Building a fusion-powered world means developing new materials, new supply chains, and new jobs. Entire industries could rise around it. Fusion is about more than energy. It's about driving breakthroughs across multiple fields and creating a new generation of skilled workers. Now let's step back and look at the machine that will put the central solenoid to work. ITER isn't just another research project. It's the largest scientific experiment ever attempted, involving 35 nations and representing half of humanity. Its goal is simple to state, but almost impossible to achieve, create and sustain the same kind of fusion reactions that power the sun. The ITER tokamak, being built in southern France, is a gigantic donut-shaped chamber designed to hold plasma hotter than 150 million degrees Celsius. To contain something that extreme, you can't use physical walls. They would instantly melt. Instead, ITR relies on an intricate system of superconducting magnets. Together, they create a magnetic cage that suspends the plasma in midair, preventing it from touching the reactor walls. This is where the central solenoid plays its critical role. Positioned right down the central axis of ITER, it's responsible for driving the electrical current that keeps the plasma circulating and stable. Without it, the plasma would collapse in a fraction of a second. With it, ITER will be able to sustain fusion reactions for hundreds of seconds at a time, a huge leap beyond what has ever been done before. And here's the bigger picture. ITER isn't designed to produce electricity for the grid. Instead, its mission is proof of concept. If ITER can demonstrate that sustained, controlled fusion is possible, the next generation of reactors, demo and beyond, will take the technology from experiment to commercial power plants. That's when fusion could truly change the world. The United States already has a strong foothold in fusion research. General Atomics operates the DIIID National Fusion Facility in San Diego, the only operating tokamak user facility in the U.S. They also build critical target assemblies that allowed the National Ignition Facility to achieve fusion ignition for the very first time in history. By completing the central solenoid, the U.S. has delivered one of the most important parts of ITER, strengthening its position as a global leader in fusion innovation. The race to fusion is more than a technological competition. It's a race to define the future of energy. The nation that gets there first won't just solve the energy crisis. 
It will shape global science, economics, and even geopolitics for generations to come. The completion of the central solenoid proves that the expertise, the technology, and the workforce already exist right here in Southern California. As one GA director put it, they're not just building magnets, they're building the foundation of the future of energy. So the question is, are we ready for the moment fusion power becomes real? Because when it does, the world will never look the same again. If you enjoyed this breakdown and want to stay ahead of the curve on the technologies that could change our lives, hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe to the channel. The sun's power is almost within our reach, and the countdown to fusion energy has already begun.